We'll run the edge detection on the shark. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you can see his gills. Yes, that's important. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's screencast, we are going to build OpenCV with CUDA support on board the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. There are a couple of challenges in building OpenCV on board the Jetson TX1. The main hurdle is that there is not enough memory on board the internal EMMC to compile OpenCV. The OpenCV sources are around seven gigabytes. The first thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of extra external storage. I have a USB flash drive I'm going to plug in. Let's do that. It's a 128 gigabyte flash drive. Let's take a look at it in the disks application. It is important to note that it must be ext4 set up for Linux. If it's set up in some other format, it may have issues when it tries to build symbolic links. This one has been formatted for ext4, so we're good to go. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build OpenCV TX1. Let's clone that repository. Grab the address. It's clone. Now we'll switch over to that repository's directory. Let's take a look at our build script. Let's open it up here. Up here at the top, we handle the command line arguments. Here's where we install our dependencies. We compile for both Python 2.7 and Python 3.5, so we compile those development environments. We add GStreamer support. And then we load the source libraries. Then we get to the meat and potatoes here. Basically, this is where you define all the different flags. We compile with CUDA, enable fast math. In our case, we use QBLAS. This is the video for Linux library. And we are going to use OpenGL support. We add Qt here to help us support the OpenGL. And then we build and make. Let's take a look at some of the directions here. Okay, the build OpenCV script has two optional command line parameters. Minus source directory is the directory in which we place the OpenCV sources. And minus I, or the install directory, is where we are going to actually install the OpenCV libraries. So let's run the build file. Let's start this baby up. We are going to put the OpenCV sources on the USB flash drive. So let's do that. And off she goes. This will take a while. Installation complete. Okay, let's clear this off. 
Before we start our demo, let's take a look at some of the OpenCV build options. Let's switch over to this directory. This is where we built OpenCV. And let's run CC make. Always forget where it's stored at. So let's take a look. Let's install it. And let's run it. Let's switch over to the build directory. And then let's run CC make. This gives you some idea as to the complexity of OpenCV and its options. These are the default settings along with the specified settings that we set. When OpenCV configured itself, it figured out that we are using GCC and CUDA 9.0. So we will quit without generating. Let's clear this off. Okay, it's finally time to run the canny detection demo. Let's wander over to the examples folder. We'll switch over to that directory. The inboard camera on this particular Jetson TX-1 is broken, so we're going to have to use a USB cam. Let's use Python. Canny detection, minus minus video device, and it is one. There's something wrong with the screen capture. Let's make this full screen. It looks okay on the Jetson TX-1 over here. There we go. Okay, as you remember, you take your color image, you convert it to black and white, and then you run a Gaussian blur on it, and then you run your edge detection, and this is what you get. It's not quite as fast as a Jetson TX2, of course. Let's take a look at the GPU usage. You can see that our GPU is pretty busy here. It looks like it's around 50% or so. We'll run the edge detection on the shark. Oh, you can see his gills. Yes, that's important. You can see the outline of his Little tag here. Oh, he's back. Using the greater than and less than key, you can change the parameters a little bit. We'll do that. Oh, very wrinkly. and less so. I wore my striped shirt so we could see even more lines. When you're running the smaller window here, it seems to keep up quite well. And just to show that the GPU is being used by the demo, let's close the demo up. And we'll close up this window here, the browser window. And we're back to zero. There you have it. Spend about an hour and a half or so, and you can have your own GPU-enabled OpenCV up and running. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time through, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.